Greetings everyone. Welcome to Mercedes-Benz Silver Arrows. I am Himanshu Sehji, presenting you the all-new GLS, that's the S-Class of the SUVs, that has all kinds of strength. So, we have the new gigantic grille with two horizontal slats and a big logo of star, which has the radar helping the active brake assist feature that applies the brake depending on driver's capability and attentiveness. And the new multi-beam headlamps which has a throw of 650 meters. Now we have the newly designed bonnet which has the power dome so you can see over here adding more to the muscular design of the car. The new GLS is a lot wider, taller and longer by 77mm. That rides on 21 inches alloy wheels you can see here. This has the shop off-road package and illuminated aluminium running boards. The car has a lot of chrome treatment on the sides. You can see the window trim and even at the roof, we have the uh, chrome roof rails adding sportiness to the car. Of course, now the car rides on the aromatic suspension around all the four wheels. The car is already raised to a good amount of height. Moving to the back of the car, we have 3D LED split tail lamps adding added a lot of chrome around the car as well, around the underguard as well and the exhaust tips as well. The car has of course the easy pack tailgate, a good amount of storage at the back and of course the space saver and the toolkit is now placed under, under the board. Now the seats at the second and third row can be flattened at all one go. And now this switch lets you lower the car from the back and you can put heavy amount of luggage without scratching the back of the car. Now, we have the wide screen cockpit now in the GLS as well, of course. The company wired the steering mounted controls for the instrument cluster and the input aim and display. And here we have the 5 zone air conditioner climate control as well. It's many more human amenities like the wireless charging pad, smartphone integration, and this new smart sleek touchpad to control this input aim and display. This is just a place to uh, place your wrist and use this. Now all the cars are now connected cars, of course. Here we have the SS and the me button. God forbid, if you're stuck in an emergency situation, you can just tap this, open the flap and tap this button. You can connect, it'll just connect you to the Mercedes backend. Mainly it will help you to uh, like services for you, uh, them to reach you and your location would be transmitted to them as well. And of course, if you're having some trouble with the me help uh, application, you have this me helpline over here, or dedicated one another. And in the centers, we have all the shortcuts for the base, all the functions. And the best thing, this car is now voice assisted. So just by saying, hey Mercedes. How can I help? Ambient flight to blue. Okay, I am changing the color. Of course, it looks beautiful in the night. We have this uh, dynamic select to change the driving modes at any moment. You can do it while driving at and uh, even at idle as well. Shifting from comfort, that's the default one, eco and off-road. These are the main ones. And this specific button for the auto park assist. Mainly your car can be parked in a parallel and perpendicular manner, depending on the conditions and the parking space available to you. This one can jump to the vehicle setting directly, where you have the most important feature of the car, that is the active brake assist. For instance, this is your vehicle. Any moving ob object ahead of you is there. At times it happens you get distracted. And if they come to any halt or they are slowing down, your car would try to alert you by flashing a red triangle. Still in case you miss out that, the car would apply brake on its own depending on the speed and the distance. Here are three modes for that, early, medium, late. And now we have the navigation in the car zone hard disk, which is 3D with live traffic now. Of course, you can just put the, your destination, it will guide you towards there very convenient then for the comfort for the creature comfort inside the car we have the kinetic seats so in your journey there would be a slight movement in the seat surface and the back so there wouldn't be any fatigue for you now for the second row we have physical controls for the climate control and we have this detachable tablet for you to control all the media and play some music with your burmester audio and this tab can be used as a remote control to control that infotainment display from here as well. And we have another wireless charging pad. 
along with some storage for you. Now from a single click, we can move the seat and enter the third row. So pretty easy now. And from here only, I can push the seat back. Here this seat sits upright for the safety of my knees. For more details, you can inquire on the below given number.